Hi there guys, got something a little different here for you today. So these are both HW100s and they're both carbines, however obviously they're a little different. This one in the green stock has got a buddy bottle conversion, which means instead of the standard cylinder that the HW100s come with, it's now using a 480cc bottle, the same that's on an impact. These aren't my rifles, I've been very generously lent them by a couple good friends. And since we haven't really got any wire arc stuff on the channel, I thought it'd be a nice change of pace. So, I'll get you a good look at this one first. And this is just a standard HW100 in the thumb hole stock, and obviously it's the carbine. The carbine's the shorter barrel version, and it may have a shorter cylinder. I'm not too sure, I'm not that up on the wire arc stuff. But this is a very nice gun indeed. And according to the owner, it's a lovely shooting rifle. So there it is there. This one is fitted with a standard cylinder. I believe this is 105 cc's. Then we move on to the green one. And this is an extremely nice laminate stock from Form. Adjustable cheek piece there. And it really is a nice stock to hold. And it's finished in quite an unusual colour. The green which I'm a big fan of. And then up front here we see the buddy bottle and the offset shroud. The offset shroud just uses a bit of the space in between the barrel and the bottle so that there's not a large, very large gap between the barrel and the bottle. Okay then, what I'll do is I'll get both these rifles out of the stocks and I'll get you a really good close up of the buddy bottle conversion to just show you the differences between the rifles. I believe the buddy bottle conversion is just a bolt on upgrade. There is a fella sending them on eBay at the moment, so if you're interested just look for HW100 buddy bottle conversion. Right then, so here we have two actions outside the stocks, and apart from the body bottle conversion on one of them, they're identical, and surprisingly close in serial number. But we see it in the block in the bottom here, we have the air cinder, and if we wanted to we could unscrew this at the moment. This one is currently empty, it's got a small leak and I'm going to have to fix that in a later video. But the air cylinder just screws into the block in here. If we take a look at the buddy bottle system, we see it has a fill adapter on one side, just a Foster quick fitting, and on the other side has a pressure gauge. And this reads bottle pressure. And on the front here we have this large brass screw. And this just interfaces with the block to allow us to screw this adapter on. So there's a nice close up of the adapter, really nicely made, and the bottle just screws straight into it. Now this isn't like the FX bottles, you can't just unscrew the bottle on the end. The bottle does have a one way valve, but it has to be burped. If you're familiar with Rapids and BSAs, you'll understand this, but all you need to do is unscrew the bottle quarter of a turn, do a couple dry fires, and have a look at the gauge. If the gauge doesn't drop significantly after a couple dry fires then you need to unscrew it another quarter of a turn. Another couple dry fires just find the point to which the bottle is unscrewed and no longer pressurising the rifle. What will happen you'll get it unscrewed quarter of a turn, dry fire it a couple times, the gauge will drop significantly. At this point you can fire out the rest of the air that's in the rifle and then unscrew the bottle. You're not going to lose all the pressure that's built up in the bottle, however you, you will have to drain all air out of the rifle and the regulator. And finally, I just thought I'd show you a really good close up of these stocks. Both the laminate and the standard thumb hole are extremely nice stocks. This is a form stock, though made by form. See a little bit of anti-vibration pad on the bottom there, and that just stops the bottle from rubbing against the, the stock. Nice little bit of Picatinny on the front there for a bipod. And there it is. And then this is the standard KT stock for the HW100. A very nice stock in its own right. This one is exceptionally nice with the tiger striping in the grain. However, as a factory stock, it's one of the better ones that are out there. Nice and comfortable, not too short, 
It's got a nice length of pull to it and the grip's nice and chunky. The standard stock is held on by two bolts, one in the action of the rifle and then this front one connects to the barrel band. The form stock only uses one screw in the middle as the buddy bottle conversion does away with the barrel band obviously. Right and there we have it, a really quick little overview. As I said I am going to be taking apart this rifle on camera and doing a disassembly and reassembly series and that should be coming within a week or so. The last thing I want to mention is just the increased shot count on the buddy bottle version. It was quite hard for me to find any sort of documentation on it but from what I've read on the forum the bottle conversion on the HW100 should give you about 300 shots in 177. The cylinder from what I've read people are getting between 50 and 60 so a really nice increase in shot count. So as I said disassembly and reassembly videos are coming on this rifle and after that maybe if we're lucky the owner of this rifle will let us have a go of it and we'll see how good it is. But that's going to about do it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.